the fist your hand, the brother in the box to play. If you came to hear from God, I want you to lift your mouth and praise the Lord in the name Because if you came expecting anything from me, sinner and go, I didn't bring it to give. But such as I have in the name of Jesus, whatever your petition is today, God is here to let you know that he is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you can even ask or think. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and lift him up. free in 
in the Lord Jesus Christ, you don't have to be in bondage. What is bondage? Something that has you tied up, praise God. Something that has your mind all, oh, hallelujah, messed up, hallelujah. Something that has you, hallelujah, in a state of frame of mind that you can't go forward. Hallelujah, glory to God. If you're listening out there in Facebook, just type in there, I'm going forward. Hallelujah. Speak it in your mouth on today, I'm going forward. Hallelujah. I can't stand still. I can't stay right there. I have to, hallelujah, keep it moving forward. Hallelujah. No matter what the situation is going on in my life, praise God. He told me to stand fast in the liberty whereof he has made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. When God brings you out, hallelujah, he brings you in to establish you, hallelujah, to strengthen you, to let you know, praise God, if he be for you, he is more than the world against you. I know that you're dealing with a lot of problems in your life and you're saying, praise God, how can I continue to be free when I'm faced with all kinds of challenges in my life? How can I be free when I'm dealing with all kinds of, hallelujah, mental problems in my life? When I start thinking of the goodness of Jesus, how is it that something that's continue to come up and make me think of negative things? But stand fast, hallelujah, in the liberty where of God has made you free. When God brings you out, you don't have to go back and pick up the same thing that God brought you out of. Why are you, hallelujah, trying to lean on the arms of the flesh? Hallelujah, the flesh will let you down. Amen. You said, what is the flesh? Uh, the flesh, the Greek word talks about the sorex. It is, hallelujah, what that spirit, hallelujah, a man wants to do. The, uh, hallelujah, the flesh is when I, I, hallelujah, want it, I want it, and I don't care how I get it. I don't care what I have to do to get it. That's what the flesh is. Uh, don't lean to the arms of the flesh. Uh, lean to the spirit of God. See, that flesh wants you to think negative. Right. The flesh will have you to go negative and, and thinking, hallelujah, God is against you and God's people is against you. But I dare you to lean on the word of God. Hallelujah. That says, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Oh, glory be to God. When I think about her freedom in Christ, Galatians 4 and 31 says, and we are free, praise God. Uh, hallelujah. And it tells us, uh, hallelujah, that we're free. We are not entangled with the flesh, praise God. We don't have to be. Whatever your situation is today, I want you to know that God uh, has set you free. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That stinking thinking, hallelujah. Somebody say that thinking, stinking, stinking thinking. That thought, praise God, that comes to the mind uh, that does to come to destroy you, to come to tear you down, to come to tear your marriage down, to come to tear your self-esteem down. It's time to rise up uh, and say I'm free uh, because Jesus came uh, to set me free. Yeah. I don't have to be entangled again with the yoke of life. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are not the children of the bondwoman, but we are the children of the promise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When I think about a promise, when God has made you a promise, he promised us that we are the children of Abraham, that we are blessed going out. We're blessed coming in. Oh, glory be to God. And whenever you accept the Lord Jesus Christ in your life, you are blessed. Not because you go to work every day. Not because you work for a 500 company. Hallelujah. Not because, hallelujah, your name is on billboards. Not because you got a lot of money in the bank. But you're free because Jesus has set you free. He has brought you out. He has delivered you. I think about the scripture in Matthew 6. It says, seek ye first 
the kingdom of God, some people are seeking things. Right. They're seeking economic status. They want to be recognized. They want people to know who they are. But oh, if you would just seek the kingdom of a God, if you would seek him while he may be found, if you would call on him while he's near, call on him while you can call on him, call on him while you got the breath in your body, call on him while you got health and strength. Don't wait till you get down. Don't wait till everything starts falling apart, uh, that you start wanting to seek him. Don't wait till hallelujah, you get on your deathbed, uh, and then you start saying, I want the preacher to come, uh, I want somebody to come and pray over me, but seek him uh, while he may be found. Uh, call on him, not because you got the house on the hill, uh, hallelujah, but call on him because you got dressed in your body. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Seek him. Put him number one in your life. Let him be number one, God, that I love you with all of my heart, my soul, my mind, and my strength. That is the first commandment of God, that you will love the Lord your God with all of your heart, your soul, your mind, and your strength. Hallelujah. People love their cars. They love, hallelujah, their children. They put their children over God. They put their spouses over God. They put their jobs over God. Oh, but if you would seek the one huh, that put breath in your body, if you would seek the one huh, that call you out of darkness huh, into this marvelous light, huh, if you would seek the one huh, that enabled you, I think about, praise God, hallelujah. The scripture says you don't know, hallelujah, how the serpent moves up on the rock. Huh? You don't know how, hallelujah, a child grows uh, in the womb of a mother. Mm -hmm. I think about, praise God, uh, hallelujah, it's, I'm sure all that are mothers in here that have birthed children, hallelujah, at some point in time, you're counting that finger, one, two, three, four, five. You're trying to make sure all the fingers are there. You're trying to make sure all the toes are there. Hallelujah, glory to God, because you don't know how that child grows uh, in the womb, hallelujah. But oh, hallelujah. When I think about our lives, you don't know the road you may take. You don't know, hallelujah, what's a down the road, hallelujah. I think about, hallelujah, yesterday is history. Hallelujah, and tomorrow is a mystery. But oh, we have a present right here. That's why it's called present. Because today is a gift. Today is a gift. When you open up your eyes, this morning, it was a gift from God. When hallelujah, when you put your feet on the floor, it was a gift from God. Hallelujah. When you're able to open up your mouth and words come out, it's a gift from God. Hallelujah. Don't be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. When you think about where God has brought you from, and how God had brought you out of many dangerous toils and snares. Amen. How God had made a way where it seems to be no way, praise God. I think about, praise God, why does the battle still rage? Even though we're free, you said, why am I still having problems in life? If I'm free, why is there problems? Because it teaches us to know how to lean on God. Hallelujah. Some may ask if Jesus' death resurrection, hallelujah, really broke the authority of the devil, then why am I going through all of this? Why am I having so much problems in my life? Why is it my marriage is up and my marriage is down and sometimes it's almost never to the ground? Why am I going through? Because God wants you to call on him. He wants you to call on him. He wants you to seek him. You ought to have a place, uh, hallelujah, where you can call on him, where you can talk to him. Uh, hallelujah. Let me tell you, you're not going to make it in this life. Uh, hallelujah. With a skip to Malou. You're not going to make it in this life thinking everything is just going to be hunky dory and glory, glory. Oh, but you're going to have some trouble in this life. Uh, but you got to hold on to God. You got to hold on to the blood stain banner. You got to know that if God be for me, he's 
more than the world against me. If we had been truly transferred, hallelujah, trans, hallelujah, form, praise God, there should be a difference between clean and unclean. If we've been truly transformed, we should not look like the world. Hallelujah. We should not act like the world. We should not, hallelujah, want the things of the world. We should know, praise God, that we're going through here. Hallelujah. That one day, Jesus said, I'm coming back and I'm coming with my reward. I'm coming back, hallelujah, without spot, blemish, or wrinkle, or any such thing. You may say, how can I live a life like this? Hallelujah, you can live it not with yourself, not with your perfume, not with, with connection with somebody else, all oh, but with the blood of Jesus Christ. He came that we may have life and that more abundantly. Hallelujah. I think about this story, praise God. Hallelujah. This man had many goats, and the goats, praise God, hallelujah, were all staying behind the fence. But he received a phone call from a police officer that said to him, your goat, hallelujah, has gotten out, and he got hit, and he's laying on the side of the road. And hallelujah, while he's laying on the side of the road, you need to go and get him because he's on the side of the road. Oh, hallelujah. Then this hallelujah man began to leave, got in his truck, went down the road, saw the goat laying on the side. And while the goat was laying on the side, he found himself, hallelujah, realizing that the goat wasn't dead. All it was that he was tied up uh, by his legs. Uh, well, I want to tell you uh, that you were on the side of the road. Uh, tied up. Uh, couldn't get up. Uh, oh, glory to God. Uh, but I'm here to tell you uh, the man began uh, to take the rope off the goat. Uh, I want you to know today God is taking the rope off your life. Uh, that whatever the enemy is doing unto you. Uh, hallelujah. You don't have to leave here the same way you came. The rope got you all bound up. Uh, Satan got you all bound up. Uh, got you all twisted up. Uh, got you all tied up. But you can be free today. But even when him taking the rope off the goat, uh, the goat find himself. Uh, hallelujah. Still laying there. God is taking the rope off of some of you, but you're still laying there. Uh, you won't get up. Uh, hallelujah. You find yourself still there. Uh, he's taking the rope off. Uh, and all of a sudden he said, huh, the children's goat, uh, get up. Uh, the goat continued to lay there. And that was nothing wrong with him. But he was in that condition of just laying there. Even with the rope being taken off of his leg, he still didn't get up. But as his owner began to kick him, well, see, God has to bring some trouble in your life. And give you a little kick. God has to bring some trouble in your life to make you get up and walk right. God has to break some trouble in your life when he began, hallelujah, to deal with your finances. God has to break some trouble in your life when he began to deal with you when you think that you can't go forward and he just want you to call on him. And then as the animal began to be kicked and kicked, see some people don't get it until they kicked around and they kicked around and they kicked around where well, the ghost is getting
wants you to be free. Hallelujah. And if we depend on him, hallelujah, and if we trust him, Jesus. hallelujah, we can be free. Praise God. We don't have to keep her. Hallelujah. Stand in the rut. If you keep doing the same thing that you've always done, you're going to keep getting the same results. It's time to change some things. It's time to do some things a little bit different. It's time to listen to God's word and say, Lord, what are you telling me? What do you want me to do, God? I'm tired of bumping my head. I'm tired of going down the same road that I've been down before. You can say, I you ever been traveling and you find yourself uh, traveling alone? You say, this looks familiar. This looks like the same place. I came here. No, this is not. I'm not going in the right way. Yeah. I know this is not the right way. Why do you keep going down the same road uh, that you know that's the same way? Uh, you keep doing the same thing that you're always done. Yeah. You're going to get the same thing same. that you're always done. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some may say today, hallelujah, I don't feel the power of God like I used to. His power is greater than any power on this earth. Yes. How is it that a person, hallelujah, can be towed up from the floor up, but yet God changes them? Yeah. And turn them around. Mm. Give them a new life. A new way of living. Yeah. Hallelujah. But then they just like the dog. Uh, that go and take the vomit. That he spit up. Yeah. And then go back and get it. Yeah. Why do you keep going down that same road. Yeah. Jesus. That God brought you out of. Mm. The scripture says that. When you are tempted. God will make a way of escape. Hallelujah. The phone rings and God says, I got this. Don't pick it up. Well, I just got to answer. I could just leave. When God says leave it alone, leave it alone. Don't answer the phone. Hallelujah. When God, you're traveling down a way that you know you should not be going in that direction. And God says, turn around and go back the other way. Listen to the voice of God. Yeah. He said, my sheep know my voice. And a stranger, they will not follow. Make it up in your mind. Are you going to be free? People are not free because they don't want to be free. But if you want to be free, you can make it up in your mind today. I'm going to be free. No more change holding me. I'm not going to keep going down the same road I've been going on. I got to turn around. I got to make a U-turn. And that U-turn is not just a U-turn. But I want you to think about why oh you you turn. Not just turn, but you turn. Ah, glory to God. You turn around. You make a decision that I'm gonna make a why oh you turn. I'm gonna turn around. I'm not gonna keep going down the same road. Jesus came that we may have life and that we may have it. More abundantly. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's like John 10 and 10. Yes. I am come. Mm -hmm. That's the reason he came. Yes. Some people don't believe it. Mm -hmm. But that's where your first start is, I believe. Yes. Lord, I believe your word. I trust your word. I believe that I can. When, when I find myself in my own self, I can. But with God, I can. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Glory be to God. You may find yourself and say, this is too hard for me. I can't do this. It seems like it's too much for me. Let me emphatically tell you that God will never give you an assignment that you cannot do. Amen. 
if God gave you an assignment, He's going to make sure you can do it. Amen. He's going to connect you with everybody that you need. That's right. He's going to connect you with everything that you need. <laughs> because he's that kind of God that is a supplier of every one of your needs. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, as the man looked at the goat and wanted him to get up. Jesus looked at us and wanted us to get up. Amen. Get up. Dust yourself off. You may have found yourself in a backslidden state. You said, I have found myself. I wasn't brought up this way. This is not the life I should be living. The man that came to himself. When he found himself, hallelujah, had left his father's house. Mm -hmm. Our father has everything we need. Amen. Amen. Yes, when you leave the father's house, mm -hmm. you're going to be missing something. Amen. When you leave the father's house, you're lacking in something. Mm -hmm. The man that left his father's house, mm -hmm. he found himself eating the slop of the pigs. Somebody is eating the slop of the pig. When God has promised that I will supply everything that you need. Somebody is in the slop pen, hallelujah, having a pity party. Woe is me. Why am I not married yet? The Holy Ghost went there. So I believe I stay right there. God knows what you need. If you were supposed to have the husband, the husband would be there. So in the meantime, while you're waiting on God, enjoy the moment. Enjoy the Lord. Take advantage of every situation that he gives you. Because the word of God says when you're single, you seek to please the Lord. Amen. Is, that, is that Bible? Amen. I believe the last time I read it, that's Bible. Let me go there. Because it says that if you are married, you seek to please the husband. Amen. You seek to please the wife. Yes. There's no need of you spending all night long talking about I'm praying and your husband needs you. I don't know what I mean. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I stay right there. Yes. Hallelujah. There's no need of you talking about uh, I got to work on some things in my hallelujah. You know, I got to get some things ready for your tomorrow and your wife needs you. Because the Bible says you seek the plea. Oh, Lord, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. If we're going to have some happy marriages, we need to seek to please one another. Because life in marriage is a give and take. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You catch that on the way home. You might have to process it right now, but you'll get it on the way home. You seek to please. You wanted him. Amen. So now you might as well enjoy it. Okay. 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 That's good all by itself. Hallelujah. Since you have her. And you stood and said, I do, you might as well be happy. That's right. Amen. Because marriage is for a lifetime. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yes. Yes. And I know the world would say, if it ain't right, you need to go see the Lord your Mr. Right. Mm. <laughs> but if it's not right, you need to hit your knees. That's it. Amen. And call on the name of Jesus. And say, Lord. We are standing in the need of prayer. Yeah. See what happened with people. They're going to say everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You know what they say, everybody, everybody, you know, everybody's marriage. No, you know what they say, everybody, because they don't want to look at their own marriage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't want to look at their own situation. Yeah. But I believe the older people said, it's me, oh Lord. Yeah. I'm standing in the need of prayer. It's, yeah. it's me, not my brother, yeah. not my sister, but it's me, oh Lord. I'm, I'm standing. Yeah. I'm not trying to look at everybody else. Right. And I know they have it all. TV and, and all in the media, but I'm not trying to say what everybody else, it's me, oh Lord, I'm standing in the need of prayer, I need you to help me, I need you to pat me up, it's me to set it up, let me be looking at your spouse, and I'm talking about praying for your spouse, pray for you, it's me Lord, I, I need help, I need help in my mind, I need help in my, it's me Lord, it's me, it's me, I'm standing I'm standing in the need of prayer. I'm standing in the need of your help. And I promise you that if you ask God to help you, God will help you. Through whatever trial, whatever trouble that you are experiencing. See, because freedom becomes a way of life. Can you repeat that with me? Freedom becomes a way of life. Yes. You want freedom? Hallelujah. It's a way of life. Yeah. Hallelujah. You don't have to wait. Hallelujah. To say, well, when this gets better, it's a way of life. The enemy comes to steal. He comes to kill. And he comes to destroy. But you have to know that Jesus said, I am come. That you may have life and that more abundantly. As we replace our wrong thinking and wrong believing with what God declares, we will find ourselves being a whole lot better. Stop talking about what's going on and start decreeing and declaring what the Word of God says. Hallelujah. I tell you, people are more caught up in their emotion mm -hmm. than they are the word of God. Amen. Emotions will deceive you. Yes. Emotions will make you think that everybody is against you. Mm -hmm. What does the word of God say? Mm -hmm. I am encamped and a host of angels round and about you. Oh, glory be to God. When it seems like everything else against you, you start looking to God for those hosts that is round and about you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Christians, praise God. People of God. Hallelujah. When the adversary start messing with you, remember, he's not going to leave you alone. He's going to find a way to get to you, whether it's through your spouse, whether it's through your children, whether it's through somebody on your job, whether it's through your sibling. He's going to find a way to get to you. Hallelujah. But you have to know what the word of God says. And you have to tell the enemy you belong under my feet. And I command you to go in the name of Jesus. You cannot stay here. And I bind you in the name of Jesus. Because the word of God says, Whatsoever I bind on earth, it shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever I loose on earth, it shall be loosed in heaven. Glory be to God. You have the power. Hallelujah. You have the ammunition. Use it. And that ammunition is the word of God. The word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing even the soul asunder. It can cut both ways. It cuts both ways. Glory be to God. Satan knows precisely where to look to find your weakness. Don't think that Satan don't know your weakness. He knows what your weakness are. In areas in lies used against you. He tries to rob, hallelujah, 
you of the very thing that God has blessed you with. That is the enemy, and that is your freedom. He's trying to rob you of your freedom. And if he can rob you of your freedom, he's got you. That's why Jesus came. We were like slaves in bondage, tied up, twisted up in our mind, in our thinking, doing things of the world, not letting go. But when Jesus came, he freed us. He set us free from the change of this world. And I want you to know, stand to your feet. You don't have to have those wrong thinking. You don't have to have those wrong believings. You don't have to fear. Hallelujah. What man can do unto you. You don't have to fear. Praise God. Hallelujah. Some people are afraid of their parents. Some people are afraid of their children. Some people are afraid of their spouse. Some people are afraid of losing their job. But all oh, when God has set you free. You're free. You're free. And somebody needs to be free today. Whether you're online and you've listened to this message, I want to tell you emphatically, that Jesus came to set you free. Yes. No more change. No more wrong thinking. No more wrong believing. But I believe the word of God. Yes. That I can come boldly to the throne of grace. That I may be able to find help in the time of need. Yes. If that's you today. And you know that Satan has stole your joy. Jesus said the joy of the Lord is the strength. Yes. I want you to come. And I want you to give it all to Jesus. Lay it at the altar. It is his will that you be free. In the name of Jesus. Somebody's not being able to sleep at night. You keep taking those prescriptions over the counter pills. Well, you know, I got to take this pill and take him bit a drill to make you sleep. But I want you to know tonight, this morning, that Jesus can set you free. In the name of Jesus, I want you to come down, hallelujah, and I want you to believe God on this morning. In the name of Jesus, that you can be free. Hallelujah. That's why he came.